gods and goddesses, and to all the new players out there, it's okay to ask for help in all this chaos and destruction. My name's Anuki, and this is Smite Top 5 Plays. The game's just started and Cumber and Kano experience missing opponents, so they go take the purple buff. Not surprising, the enemies took a red buff, but they're one level behind that. Oh, never mind, Jing Lavaway steals it just like they stole red. Whilst Terra goes to pick up the purple, Lavaway takes aggro, their accuracy beats Kano's wall crunch. Oh, for Kumba, hits their overhead smash, gets to body block it with the needle on of it, beats out the Mesmerize, that's one angry squid. Oh, no, the German god was doing well with the blocks, but Lavaway and Trashy Treasures overcame the adversary very well. I freaking love early game fights. I told you I don't miss. Feel my blessing! Now why does Jingwei and Poseidon have so low health? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Poseidon, with the help of Kazumbo, will delete Thanatos. Get out of my way, Jingwei. She ain't gonna stay. And her slowing Kazumbo, who looks like they're far more interested in Artio. Thor is off screen. There's his hammer wall. Artio, what are you thinking? I don't think you have the damage to kill Poseidon. Oh, Thor is here. And now it's a 1v3. What's your game plan? This just seems to be getting worse. Maybe and her can help. Jingwei hits that Thor wall. That's a bummer. Artio can't take much more punishment. And her still lingering around. Big impale on Jingwei. There's a furious defending games with a shield. But Mr. Maybe, this ain't all for nothing after all. Guan Yu going for Poseidon. Gets a shield. Mr. Maybe over the Thor wall and far away. Guan Yu taking any more tower shots, Kazumbo taking even more lances, very good blocking towers, oh, block this, oh, 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 forget top five, please, I think this is one of the top five impales, tips and tricks as audio bringing everyone together, my power is unstoppable, who needs protections when I have such great strength, a quick find over the clairvoyant half is, but I think they're basically just collateral in the rage along Shen Fields for Pele. Chronos blinked in, but the time stop slipped between the two targets. Breaking off the main fight as Anubis and Achilles Tango just off to the right. They're trading ultimates. Chronos are no longer moving. Oh, it's a double down. Pele and Achilles step on a time rift. Kukulan mathematically opts in to an impossible 1v4. Holo runs away. Blue team clear the room with no casualties and can taste that sweet, sweet gold fury paid a bonus. A lone wolf hopping on their chariot. Voskos are equipped the power buff and a lack of self-preservation. Gets a good aerial dunk down on the gold. Bumps all three, serenades them, steals their gold. Dashes under and escapes the bandage. So much happening. Anubis is running because apparently nobody, and I mean nobody, saw this coming. I'll use this time to make a public service announcement for wards. Get yours today. Don't be a Nubis, be a Probis. Time to join this battle. Off we go. Sylvana's walking on by mid lane, and I'd be a little suspicious of someone doing this. Agni gives them some of his fire magic, and that's kind of what you want as a support. You want to take their attention. Amaterasu slips in, and it's an easy kill. Fafna transforming in the middle of everyone, and I guess we're going to see how long they can hold out in their ultimate form. And her relocates to the back line as Wukong and Ratataska slam into the front of Apollo, plucking away from the side. Great positioning, staring clear of the Monkey Madness, and the minions are getting in the way. Fafna loses his life in that blue team, aren't letting up. They can surely return a kill on the Amaterasu. Ratataska, Wukong, Sing strikes success, but Ran gets impaled. S7-8 is surrounded, but luckily two of his opponents just want to run. S7-8 goes to assist Apollo Silvanas blinking in and body blocking, spinning staff style out of there. That's a big loss for blue team. S7, Aid, and Barracuda are alive. What's Red's next move? It might involve the Red buff, but Barracuda's already taken that. Really, just trying to minimize losses on the map. Red slowly shifting over to the Gold Fury. S7, Aid staying in combat. Barracuda ulting up. They see an opening. They see Freya and Hun Vance low on resources. This is a coordinated re-engagement that I think takes Red Team by total surprise. Sylvanas and Anha fleeing the scene. Our two heroes equalize the situation with some good old-fashioned tactics. I feel no pain. Nice. 
direction in the tower. Nemesis going all of the way to the back. Draws a lot of attention, leaving only King Arthur to defend. And defend he shall. Do a red team really want to invest time and energy in trying to quash him? I'd say go rotate. Find something else to push. Gain some vision in the jungle. Recall and push again with more control. Various levels of decision making going on. Sylvanas and Nox getting caught as blue team advance. The pillar slows and Nox dips inside. Sylvanas avoids the Death of Fury. It's not looking good for them. Morrigan hanging around in the jungle looking for a pick on any of the damage. Wow, Zs! Arachnian and her! I'll take where the hell did they just go? Holy mega Christ! They just got flattened! Herman Hope takes Nemesis form back as punched against the wall. A third feeling easy kill. Arthur is swinging for Herman, trying to predict where they might have gone. Herman runs into her. What a surprise! This could be bad. The water cannons. I mean, Pro Tip Morrigan is the one in the middle. <laughs> Hurt. Water Sprout is off the mark. Herman Hope and the crew make it a wonderful twist of events. Wonderful devastation. And that's it for this week. Submit your plays using the link in the video description and support the show and extra content on the Patreon. Fancy getting your hands on the Anuki announcer pack? Then join me on the live stream. Big thank you to all my patrons and Twitch subscribers and everybody. Stay awesome. My name's Anuki, and I hope we speak soon.